Hello, lovely channel. Welcome to this video. So this video is because I often get the question, how do I get the real measurements for my 3D print, the real scale? So today we're going to talk about measurement units for your 3D prints, but also as general knowledge, things you must know. The first thing you need to know is that they are different measurement systems. This is the root of the problem and this is what cost NASA 125 millions because they forgot to convert from the metric system to the imperial system. Okay, general knowledge, one inch is 2.54 centimeter. It's something you must know even if you only have American clients. I truly only faced the problem once in 20 years and simply became aware that some clients don't even know about the metric or the imperial system. And obviously these clients are going to blame it on you, on your design, on your softwares, when they're not even aware that their software is converting the numbers to an other measurement unit. So this is why today I'm going to take you through different 3D softwares to see where the problem stands. Because if it happens to you or you have a problem with a client and the scales, you will be able to understand where it comes from and how to correct it. All right, so we're going to start in Blender to establish the scale of things. In Blender, you can check that we are using the metric system. Here, it clearly says 2M, and 2M stands for 2 meters. That's the real size of the default cube. Great, so we already know that Blender uses the metric system. Now, we are concerned about 3D printing in real scale. So, we need to export this cube in STL format. Let's go to File, Export, STL. Let's go to the folder we want and let's export this as the default cube blender 2 meters. STL, selection only, export STL. Great. I've exported the blender's default cube into the STL format. Great, so now we are going to import that STL file, that cube, into another software. For this, I'm going to use NetFab Studio, which is a very famous STL checker and STL doctor. And I'm going to project open, locate my file, double click, and here we are. So let's see what happens. The cube looks perfect there. It's no problem there. But right away, we must see this down here in formation. And it says length 2. Correct. But it says 2 millimeters. Oh. Oh. What happened here? What is happening here? Width. 2 millimeters, height 2 millimeters. And this is my default cube blender 2 meters. I've just exported this 2 meter cube into the STL format and I'm opening it in another software and I'm not even getting the same size. The number that goes with the size, with the unit, is correct but the unit is different that's something you must check right away in any software that you are using when exporting importing files because you might never know what measurement system the software is using and what scale the software is using in this occasion, by example, this cube is a thousand times smaller than the original. 
And also in this occasion, by experience, I know that it comes from Blender. Blender export at a thousand times smaller scale than the original scale. And I like that a lot because for me, it only means that Blender is working already in millimeters. So this two meter cube got export into SDL format with Blender and became a thousand times smaller. We can see that in NetFab, by example. So I know that between Blender and NetFab, I have a thousand times smaller scale for my STL files. And for me, that's very practical. So, so far, we already have one example where the scale changes. The measurement system is the same. We are still in the metric system. So, the numbers are the same just changes the scale. Great, but what about another story? So, by example, let's open the cube in 3D Builder in Windows. Now, the story here is going to be different because right when opening the STL file in 3D Builder in Windows, the software asks, the unit of the file and this is already very different because I can say that we have inches but beware because that might go down inadvertently you might not even be aware that this is happening but here in this software I can change the units of the file and obviously we can see that here on the floor with the grid, we are not at the scale of the cube, at the size of this, of this cube. We have a different unit applied to the cube. If I go at 2 millimeters, which is, as we already know, the unit of this STL file, we do get here exactly 2 millimeters. You can double check that. But what if your 3D software is working in inches just because that's the way the software is programmed and you might not even be aware of the problem and the software by itself is changing the metric system to the imperial system and changing the units from millimeters to inches and we can check on the grid floor that the size of the cube is totally different and like I said this is a totally different story now we are in another measurement system in the imperial system and the units went from millimeters to inches and that's why today's video was born because your clients or you, your softwares or your client softwares might very well be making those conversions without you ever knowing, without the client ever noticing. So if you're not aware of the problem and your client is not aware of the problem believe me you're going to have a very hard time trying to understand what's going on and what happened because at the beginning I had a two meters two meters two thousand millimeters big cube in blender and then it becomes something totally different. And we can even check what size the cube is getting in inches. And we're going to do 
just that. So here I am going to import the cube in inches. Validate. Now the great thing here is I can save the file as and we're going to save the file as inches cube and it's obviously going to be an STL form. Let's save. Now I exported this inches cube into STL. Now let's go back to NetFab. So I'm going to erase this new project. Yes, discard this and let's open the inches cube. Okay, so we have length, width and height right here, as you know. And what does it says? It says 50.80 millimeters with 50.80 millimeters height. 50.80 millimeters. What happened here? And now you know why at the beginning of this video I explained the conversion rate between inches and millimeters. You can recognize that we have a factor of 2.54 going on between the original scale of 2 to 50.80. But also because inches are 2.54 centimeters, it even gets multiplied by 10 times more. So we have a factor of 25.4 because 3D Builder made the conversion from millimeters to inches and that's a factor of 25.4 times more. And this tells a very important story and you must be aware of this even if maybe you won't face the problem on your side but if you're in the 3D printing business in the 3D design business I can bet that you are going to encounter this problem at least once in your life and that's why people asked me to make this video because they were facing a problem that literally can make you go nuts totally crazy because the softwares the 3d softwares make conversions because they're programmed like that and you will not notice until it's too late because you will notice at the end when you import your STL to your 3D printer software and you'll start printing and the object is going to come out at a totally different size. And that's because your softwares are using different units and different measurement systems. All right. So, thank me later. So now, don't forget that you can support the channel with the new thank you heart under the video. You can make a donation for every video that you like that helped you. And that helps me creating new videos, especially the requested videos to people supporting my channel. So, as always, Take care, be nice to people, be nice to animals, be nice to the planet, and see you soon.